kind of upset about the Crusader, not Hell Knight thing. Um, but yeah, we've got a long way to go in Elden Ring, but we got a long way to go in this game as well. And I really would like to like make some damage in this game. I like this game, and I just felt like playing it. It was a coin toss. It's always a coin toss between the two. And tonight, Pathfinder won. That, and uh, I feel like... I mean, this game kicks my butt all the time. But we've we've been dealing some damage. Like, we've been winning. And because of that, I want to keep playing. Okay. So this army is obviously marching on us. That's why I think it keeps showing up. So what we need to do... Um, what roads were the scouts going to close out? Uh, that road up there. Um, there's like this whole thing over here. But I believe the undead army is here. Okay, no, no, I was wrong where it was. Dead. Where's that first group? Yes, champions, crusade army one, two. I know I have another army here. Here. Oh, that's Wolf. I'm dumb. Okay. So let's march these guys here. Grab these guys. Put them here. Let's condense this down to these guys. And. And moving them south. All right, we're gonna grab you, and you're going to move here. This. All right, I know there are only eight sharpshooters, but they're undead. And this is an undead army. This is just going to be a crap unit for when uh, until we get like better sharpshooters. All right, and then we're going to grab you guys, and you're going to come all the way up here to try to find Wolf, because you are in the army of the living. Okay. So we're going to take the skeleton army. Okay. So that's all the dead, right? They have moved. The extra dead. Yep. Yeah. All right. And we're going to move you out here. Man, if he goes down here, I don't know what he's going to do. All right, let's save Skim real quick and then just head south. I think we can take this group. If we have enough direct damage, we should be able to knock it off. <clears throat> I think. Ah, there go my archers. Uh, maybe not. This might be too hot for... And dead. It's definitely too hot. All right. Not yet with this one. All right. 
still I want them here. Um, actually, I want them north a little bit. Because I want them to be able to... S let's see if I can wrap them around. I don't want this army penetrating. Are those the archers? They are the archers. I would... Here. We're just gonna make this kind of a dead turn. But, I mean, that's... 39 more archers in my main unit. Once again, I'm eyeing this army down here. And I'm trying to see what it's about to do. I don't want to make any, like, rash moves while they do it. And we're at the grotto. So let's get in there. And then we'll go to the mines. Gotta hit all these areas next to my camp. Or my city. Oop. We will win this war. Yes, we will. Um, Sila, you're getting a lot of spells Together here. We stand. And this. Oh. Put this over here. Thought you're ever going to use it. We don't need the... Uh, no, let's keep it on the end. Okay. I'll quick save that so I don't have to keep doing that. Cave. Sleeping Ash Giant. A bright future awaits us. I mean, he's sleeping. Just go get him. south <laughs> that went super south uh let's try this again the neighbor's dog is like crying in the backyard it's really sad what's up sergeant i'm glad you made popcorn i hope you don't choke on it beautiful notice i said i hope you don't choke on it okay Let's do this. We're gonna charge him. Do not waver. I got this. Going to charge him. Probably should have waited till she was down there. Uh drop this here. Oh my god, did he kill my skeleton already? He did. This skeleton is the effing worst. Alright, um... We've invested so much into keeping him alive, and he takes one hit, and he's just down. No, 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 no. Where are you going? Okay. 
Uh, Nenny, you get ready to fire off magic missiles if that tick swarm comes up. Also, I kind of want you ready to fire off a burning arc. Yes, that is true. He has weak bones. I need to make sure when we get back to camp to feed him milk. And nothing but milk. How much health does the tick swarm have? Oh my god, that dog is so loud. The dog back in, dude. Like, it's crying. I don't think I don't think this tick swarm's gonna make it out. Nope. Dope. That's what you get. Anything new? What you get? Get sucked into a pit and eaten by the pit. You're a good person. I like you. Oh. I like you too. Oh man, Ashlong, what the hell? We'll win this. How long has he had that? Okay, fails to spell it. Cool. Good work. I will help where I can. Okay, um... Um... I don't think we have... A dispel... Only us. The gods have abandoned... What was I saying just now? Wanna play together? I don't think this counts. Yeah, it's not a sickness. Um, it's a disease. I don't know. That was an act of desperation right there. Click this. Let's check the loot. Let's see what we can do. Almond milk? More calcium? Okay, sure. How long has almond milk been around? They will break against our resolve. Like, would that... Would that even be, like, uh... Canon? Could that be canon, is more what I'm trying to think? Like... How long people have been messing around with almond milk is my main question here. Wow, he doesn't even have a sword. Do, do. No, no glory with oh no! Surrender or else. You should have listened to reason. This kill is for you. So they just auto wipe me because of their. <sighs> so dumb. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Sergeant. <sighs> Historian Carolyn Walker Binham notes that the medieval cookbook suggests that the aristocrats observed fasting strictly. If le um, legalistically, legalistically. Wow, I don't know why that was hard for me. Uh, me day and fish day recipes were not separated. Hold on, uh, me days and fish days recipes were not separated in medieval recipe collection as they were in later. 
better organized cookbooks, but the most basic dishes were given in fast day as well as ordinary day versions. For example, thin split pea puree, sometimes enriched with fish stock, produced by simmering ground almonds in water. Okay. So that's basically what almond milk is. <laughs> the end of it got cut off. I don't know what almond milk actually is. Just know it ain't from a cow. If it ain't from a cow, I don't trust it. <laughs> We're not supposed to be drinking cow milk. Why does it taste so delicious? Answer me that. Get back, please. Shit. Six more made it. How do we hit this thing? What it like? Why is it so hard to freaking hit? You should have listened to reason. 120 health, 16 vermin. Combat maneuvers, trip, combat maneuver, blah blah blah. Oh Jesus Christ! All these dirty tricks. This is kind of dumb. Shouldn't be this hard to kill ticks. Why are you? Oh my god, we're gonna die to the tick swarm. Oh, this is such a dumb mob. <laughs> can't be dying to ticks guys Beautiful. we fight giants just stomp on them how hard is it to stomp on a tick if there's lots of them you stomp more I don't I don't understand you require my unbiased opinion yeah is restless. I wonder why. Oh, this casts on something. Does it? Or can I just cast it? No, uh, I guess it casts on something. Oh my god, I didn't hit anything. Uh you are my favorite aid. Drop this here. Oh my god. Where are they? Nice. We will win this war. Okay. Oh, yes, what? No, 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 don't run forward, everyone. Stay back. Stay back. Now we can kill this guy. Surrender or else. Except you need to vanish yourself. Oh no. Roach. Remember my name. 
approach now. Just had enough of diseases and... How do we continue to fail treating diseases? I have a 13 mod- oh, it's a DR-26. That still means that I would need to roll a 13 or above, which I, I continue to fail to do. Ugh, man. Um, we don't happen to have a scroll of cure disease, do we? No, I didn't know what almond milk was. <laughs> okay, for sure. Oh, so you just simmer ground almonds in water. Okay. So it looks like, okay. For some reason, I thought, like, the split... I, I misread it. I thought <laughs> it had to do a split piece. Okay. I mean, that seems simple enough to make. Have removed sickness. Do we not have, like, a cure disease? You know what I want you to do? Not this. That's fire belly. I'm gonna take. I want you to take. Where is it? Well, copy that in your spell book, and then take the other one. I want you to launch that bad boy. Ah, never mind. It's not enough range. again. Oh, my summons was stuck down there. Okay, uh, that tick thing is still alive. So... Fireballs at it? Fireballs at it. Okay, that apparently didn't kill it. Uh, throw this. The light take you. you get in there. Damn you! You get in there. Uh. This is such a stupid mob. This is such a stupid mob. I hate mobs like this. They're so dumb and they're so frustrating. <laughs> they do so much damage and I don't care what you say. In no like place is a tick swarm going to be this dangerous. This is dumb. Yes, 
This is like ridiculous. We're wiping out to a swarm of ticks. Like, come on. Come on. Don't mind me. Now, this war must end. Not even deer ticks, man. Just ticks. Like, we fought off these killer wasps. But the ticks are what are killing us. Okay. You come here. Switch back to your sword. Oops, who did I click that on? Don't, don't move. They'll beg me to stop. Surrender or else. How do I make this work? Too late for apologies. Like, where's she casting this? Dude, you know what? I don't even care. That thing down. Now. Uh. It gets past that pit. No, it didn't. Okay, back up, everyone. Oh yeah, I'm dropping another pit. Shit, here it comes. comes. Uh... Oh my 
god, we got it. Just one to go. I love I love how like all of the things that we fought. Right, we've fought zombies, we've fought giants, we've fought like what I monster thingies and demons. But the swarm of ticks <laughs> right now has us pinned back. <laughs> Too afraid to move forward. Because we might get a tick bite. And wipe the party. <laughs> because you know at the tavern, they're not gonna tell this story. <laughs> like how impressive would that be? Someone comes in, and there I was. Surrounded by a hundred ticks. <laughs> like no one ever is gonna be like. I mean. Did you did you use a little salt on the ground? Did you try that? <laughs> it right? Probably. There's always one guy. On me. What's going on here? Look, my cousin got Lyme disease and blah 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 blah. It's like I don't care, dude. They're ticks. We literally can cast fireballs. And we're getting wiped out by ticks. Actually, I think that burning arc hit pretty hard. Ooh. You know, I forgot to check something. Where is that recipe? There it is. Okay. Trust in yourself. You know, maybe I'm just being a little too cocky. Maybe, like... Ticks are, you know, dangerous. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I just don't know the dangers of ticks. I'm sure there's somebody on the internet that will see this and they'll be like, oh boy, does that guy not know what he's messing with? Was that all there was? Seriously? Seriously? Did I grab something like epic here or? Nature's Choler. Whenever this plus three corrosive great club confirms a critical hit or kills an enemy, enemies in a 15 foot area must pass fortitude or will suffer 2d6 piercing as little bugs are awakened and leave this rotten club. That's kind of sick. Whenever the wearer of this belt casts a spell of level 6 or higher, it summons a CR7 shadow demon to fight alongside the wearer for 2 minutes. Only one such demon can be present on the battlefield. If the demon is already summoned, casting a new spell of level 6 or higher will heal it for 2d6. It only makes sense that she is the one casting demons. This ring of protection grants the wearer a plus three competence bonus on tough attack rolls, or touch attack rolls. Um, Daddy can wear a ring. No, okay. All saving throws, morale throws. You can have this one. Okay, unarmed. To shields. Okay. Ooh, cool. Well, 
Let's see what we can do. Hmm. Okay, so he still has the ash leprosy. Here we go. Seriously, like that was all there was. of the good hunt. Let's go. Is there anything happening at the castle? I need to go back for? Nope. Strength and command. The wars, uh, war wars soldiers down and defeatist attitude sinks in. In order to reinforce the discipline, the commander's staff council must look for new solutions. Issue decree. I feel like morale's been high for a while. And who am I but the king? No, well, I'm not the king yet. Sorry. I am a humble servant to the queen. Religion check failed. DC. Oh, I got a 27 out of 28. Let's see what we can do. Before we get in the door, let's clear the area out. Here we go. Temple of the Good Hunt. Can't make the demons wait. Perception check. Asked, what did you perceive? The young cleric lets out a loud scream and addresses you in a quivering voice. I beg you, uh, I don't touch the door. Um, I discovered a concealed trap door in the temple. Where does it lead? Kyaru. Oh, here it is. Uh, Kyaru's face goes gray. He falters and stutters over his words. What door? Ah, that, uh, the door. It leads into the cellar. There's nothing interesting behind that door. Well, now I have to open the door. You're a terrible liar. Speak the truth before I lose my temper. Um, take it easy. This is your temple. I will respect your secrets. Okay, so, okay, so, yeah, the young cleric face pales. How did I fail this? <clears throat> Rolled a five. What was the difficulty? 30? So I needed to roll anything above an eight, and I failed. Happens. I swear, there's no secret. Leave me alone. Uh, take it easy. This is your temple. I will respect your secrets. Uh, that's good. Trust me, Commander. I can handle myself. I want to go inside the crypt. 
I have the key, but what right to you, or what right do you have to lawful as a commander of the crusade? I order you, give me the key. Kato guiltily hangs his head like a criminal caught in the act. With trembling hand, he gives you the key. Don't go in there. Well, now I have to go in there. Why would you stop me from? Why would you say that? And it appears there is a carefully concealed doorway in this place. I have to go in there now. I beg you, don't go in there. Dude, the more you beg, the more I want to go in. <laughs> you can't do that. Like, if you don't want someone to go in somewhere, just be like, oh, I poop in there. And then if you did that, like, no one would go in. Everyone would be like, oh, he poops in there. I don't want to go in there. I'm here. But now that you're begging us not to go in, I need to go in. What the hell just happened? <laughs> I misclicked that. My bad. Yeah, can you dispel this, please? No? Best to dispel magic. I thought one of you did. Maybe that was Camilla that has it. Yeah, I think it was Camilla. Well, let's go to the other side while this thing resolves. Here we go. Is that a trap? Alright, Jeff. Do your nice. do your job better. Pretty good, aren't I? You sure it's safe? Well, hell yeah. Why would it not be safe? A page of oh look, Elven notes. For the dude who's never gonna come back to this game. Belt of incredible dexterity. I thought it was going to give me plus four. Incredible was like plus four. I don't know why plus two is incredible. That's not that incredible. I can do this. Maybe. Ooh. You're right behind me. Right. All the food. <laughs> no, it is not quite incredible enough. What's up, the dude, man? Pretty good. Oh, no worries, man. Specimen 367 Finian Dismar. The first page of testing process was a success. Specimen 367 Finian Dismar turned into a sword on command. <gasps> the sword possesses sufficient sharpness and the ability to adjust the wielder's strike. It beheads a crusader with one sing a single blow. Clean cut. The blade is undamaged. Additional notes. The specimen makes unwanted noises resembling weeping. No reaction to threat. It's another... Sword. Like my talking sword. Yes, mom. Are we about to find the origin of my sword? I'll talk to this guy real quick. What an honor it is to see you again, Commander. Welcome to the Temple of Delamar. Blessed as the Temple Prior, I offer my greeting. At the word Prior, the uh, priest's face flush pink. Remind me who you are. They call me Coyote the Shepherd Boy. Well. 
That's what they used to call me, but it's not very fitting for a priest, is it? The cleric lapses into confused silence for a moment. I came from a village near the last wall. I've always been drawn to Aristotle, even as a child. A cleric by the name of Jod once passed through our village, a kind old man. He looked me in the eye, silly little kid, and he said, I see you're going to serve Aristotle, just like myself. And so I did. When I heard about the crusade, I set out to join it, just like my heart was telling me to do. At first I was, at first I served as a novice under the venerable Rathamus, but now he's gone and I've been left on my own. Rathamus and I marched on Dresden. I think we've talked to this guy about this before. We fought in our host. And then when the demons were driven out, I came here. This temple is centuries old. Aristotle's worshippers would have come in here, come in here and there hundreds in the past. But even now, we get the odd pilgrimage wandering in. That's why I wanted to take over the temple. Someone ought to take care of the sacred place. Uh, I want to know more about this temple and everything connected to it. Where to begin? This temple is dedicated to Delamar. Oh, I mean, of course, it is a temple of Aristotle. But Delamar was the prior, uh, prior of this temple. I mean... No, I'm the prior of this temple, and she is like its blessed mother's uh, superior, its patroness. The young man follows it to a confused silence and looks pleading at you. Uh, what is it like to be a prior? Oh, it's terrifying. I live here alone, you see. People travel a great distance to come here, but I have been given an important task. Here in the world room, these temples are needed more than ever so that people don't lose faith. But that doesn't stop my legs uh, shaking in terror. When I think of my teacher... Rathamus rests his soul. I just feel like running away. I swear, I would have run long ago, but one thing keeps me here. Aristotle would not have granted me uh, these spells for no reason. I cannot let him down, or the people. I cannot let them down either. I don't need to be that mean. Don't worry. We will destroy the demons, every last one of them. We have faith in you, Commander. You'll show them who's the biggest turnip in this field. Uh, tell me about Delamar. She lived in these parts back when Sarkoris was still standing. She was a priestess of Aristotle, and the Kelids deeply respected her for her hard nature and her unshakable faith. Aristotle blessed her with various wonders, and the common folk knew that she would stand for, up for them. Delamore did not like the city life. She said cities encourage vile deeds and corruption of the soul. She said that the people ought to live in small clans where everyone knows everyone, where everyone is kin, and where every person has a duty to rest. You can't hide your sins in a village. In a village, everyone knows what kind of person you are. She had a, revela uh, a revelation, and she would travel around the villages and see how many people lived there. If any settlement had more than 53 souls, she drove out all the rest and told them to settle elsewhere, because otherwise the village would have grown and turned into a little town. Her method was harsh, of course, but people still listened to her, because Ar Aristotle himself was on her side. She had an edge to her. She single-handedly chased off whole bands of marauders that harassed villagers. After she died, this temple was built in her honor, in the place where Aristotle gifted her with his relics. They say it was here that a white stag emerged from the forest and spoke to her in a human voice, telling her that she should hunt it, because it was the will of the Lord. Delamere tracked the stag for three days and three nights through the forest when she ran into ground. She made its antlers into a bow and its hide into armor. That bow never misses, and Aristotle himself bless the armor so that it repels strikes of enemies. So she's buried here. Is that what you're saying? It's gotta be a crypt or something like that, right? Would there be any valuables lying around, do you think? Valuables? The young man's voice hardens all of a sudden. There are no valuables in there, and you'd better stop thinking what you're thinking just now. A fine hunter with a harsh temper, tough and successful. And better yet, someone who is morally opposed to living in those stinking piles of the Uplanders call city. She sounds just like me. No, no, no. You're nothing like her. Then maybe you should be buried along with her, if you like her so much. What are you mumbling? Come on, spit it out. We're just saying, a little prayer asking Delamere for help on an important matter. I don't care to, uh, I can't say any more. It's between me and her blessedness. Hmm. She really drive people out of the village? That's ridiculous. Ah, uh, no, I'll say this. I do not share her views, but I respect her faith. Even I think she was a hard woman. Can it truly be wrong for more than 53 people to live in one place? And if there are 54, does that moral decay and treachery begin immediately? Kyoto catches himself and turns red. But that is my foolishness and ignorance talking. The wisdom of Aristotle was revealed to Delamar. 
But she must be understood. The, u the unique mystery is underpinning the world. Uh, that's good enough. I need to see the service of cleric. I'll be glad to help, Commander. I've kept all of Rathmus' skulls and I've managed... Yeah, okay. Here is this guy. Um... Do you have, like, cure disease? Oh man, we sold him a lot of stuff. I wonder if he has the barding that we sold. He does not. Scroll of Banish. Cure serious wounds. Oh man, do you not have anything for disease? sickness, remove disease. Uh, let's buy a couple of these. Scroll, uh, wrestler. Yeah, we'll buy a couple of these. Buy one of these. Two of these. Do, do, do. This is a happy little find. of enlarged person kits we can't afford and things that we've sold him in the past we don't really need any diamond dust or diamonds right now because we don't have anyone using a lot of them how many purified solutions do we have I don't know but let's grab a bunch not all those oh I guess they're cheap let's get them I don't want to spend that much money right now. Okay. This is a good deal. Cool. Watch and learn. All right. So we'll go to him. Where? Fox postulate. I'm just gonna let him hold that just in case he needs some backup invisibles. Poison second. I don't want to use heals yet. Those are big. Where is it? Here it is. 
There we go. Does anyone else have a disease right now? No. Cool. And then this is lesser restoration? Yeah. Oh, it needs restoration. There we go. And he is back to normal. Fantastic. Okay. Now that we're here, though. Let's get rid of all the stuff we don't need. Kind of cool. Right. Oh, we do have incredible dexterity. Why didn't I see that? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Watch and learn. Oh, incredibly dexterity. See, I thought I had a plus four. I don't know why. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We put it on. I think he has the same thing already. Heavy pause, deal 1d6 bludgeoning damage on critical hits made with natural weapons. These knee pads grant the wearer plus two bonus on attacks and damage rolls with natural weapons against animals, magical beasts, and monstrous humanoids. Ultimate predator. Yeah, sure. Alright. So strength and constitution. This was dexterity. Ooh, this does strength, dexterity, and constitution. You get all of those things. Okay. You don't need this longbow either. Hmm. 